British Bulldog Smith, otherwise known as Davy Boy Smith Jr., the uh, the top wrestler in the world right now, in my opinion, definitely could beat any of these uh, supposed NWA champions in a matter of seconds. Uh, if it was a shoot, not even funny. But you you saved a woman's life once. Uh, want to tell us that story? Yeah. So um, it was really scary. Uh, I had the day off and I was uh, going with my mom actually. We were going to go and watch a WWE paper with Brian Pillman Jr. who was living in the at the time. And uh, at the Kennecase residence, I'm sure you Oh, yes. That. Yeah, yes. so uh, we hadn't seen him in a while. Bruce was coming over. So uh, we had stopped off at 7 a.m. in Bonas right before going there. And um, when we were driving up on the highway, I saw a lady and she was sitting on the side of a bridge and she was hysterically crying and there was a guy talking to her. Um, so initially what I thought it was was that maybe she was having an argument with her boyfriend. And uh, I came over and I stopped the car and I hopped over the, the Meridian and uh, I went over to her and I said, I said what's going on sir? And, uh, he goes, man, she's going to jump, and this is off, uh, off the bridge. I said, no, miss, you know, you can't do that. And uh, she goes, don't touch me, I'll jump, I'll do it, I'll go. So um, I had to just quickly close the distance, and um, she had one leg straddled in over, and I had pinched her knees, um, her thigh knees, almost like running the bike with the double through the single leg. And I managed to grab her, and she was trying to go. Not quite Actually, hanging no, off the side, the bubble. but um, I managed to pull her off, and uh, when we got on the ground, I had to mount her, because she also was screaming that she had a gun. And, wow. Yeah. And that was scary, too. Um, but when I had mounted her, I didn't feel that she had a gun, like she was wearing a big sweater. But I didn't know, you know, maybe she had it in her, in her, in her shoe or something. So I had to... Um, I had to subdue her and, and uh, hold the mouth position until the police came. Don't judge us too hard. And uh, they handcuffed her and she was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was uh, quite upsetting. Which, uh, but, uh, you know, a life's a life and I'm glad I got to save her. Did she ever thank you? And yeah, she did. Um, so, uh, I called my friend uh, Jay up because he works for the uh, police department and uh, I told him what happened and uh, he spoke to the police as well. And luckily she didn't have a gun, but I guess she had had a, uh, a past history of uh, some uh, mental illness. And uh, she had tried this before, but with uh, some pills. And what, you know, thankfully it didn't, it didn't work. Um, so, uh, you know, it made it into the newspaper and then, uh, you know, the Calgary Herald talked to me and I was on the news for it and there's pictures. My mom actually had taken a couple pictures of it, just, uh, you know, but we didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but she wanted some proof and uh, it was, it was really um, quite something. She did reach out to me later and uh, she asked for her name to be uh, not disclosed and that's totally fine. And. Uh, uh, I've gotten in touch with her, you know, here and there, just uh, asked how she was doing. She seems like she's doing a lot better and getting the proper help. And uh, her daughter had reached out to me and thanked me also. So, uh, I'm glad I was, uh, I guess, uh, right place, right time, you know. And uh, I'm sure the police would have may have been able to have uh, pulled her off the bridge, but I tell you, she was uh, putting up quite a fight to get out. Are we talking about five Luckily, I I was there, and you know, um, I was a hero that day. But all I can say is that, uh, in my opinion, the real heroes are the uh, you know, firefighters and the police, because uh, I put myself in their shoes for a few moments and uh, saw how important what they and how much of a risk that they take every day. So my hat always goes off to the. Uh, How's your mother doing these days? You mentioned your mom. Yeah, she's doing good. Um, she wanted to make it out to the event here, but uh, she had got uh, bunion surgery removal on her, on her toe. And I think it's been a, a lot more painful than she was anticipating. So she's not able to walk at the moment, but uh, she's doing good otherwise. And um, she was uh, really wanting to come out, but hopefully next year. And this is actually my first time I've been out here uh, myself. So it's been really nice. Uh, Brian Blair's always been very close to me. Um, 
and it was very nice for him to uh, invite me out. And uh, it's really cool to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. We've got a Bluey's all over there, of course, in the lab. Uh, good to see him as well. And uh, you know, it's been uh, really nice. You know? And I understand uh, if your new Japan schedule permits, you might have a match again for Great North Wrestling on yes, August the 10th. Absolutely, August the 10th. Um, please pencil me down. Uh, I should be there as long as I'm not booked for Major Camp Pro Wrestling. And if I'm not, uh, mark my words, I will be there and I'm looking forward to it again. Um, hey, maybe I'll have a rematch with Max Testosterone, uh, 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 Max, uh, uh, right? Yeah, Max Testosterone. Yeah, right. yeah, he's actually the Canadian champion now. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's great. You know what? I've been uh, uh, keeping up with his updates and he's really coming along. He's, uh, He's uh, got a good, strong work ethic, and uh, it's nice to see that there's <clears throat> big athletes that are powerlifters and, and uh, have passed, you know, uh, sporting experience, but that want to get into wrestling, but they want to do it because they love it, you know, and uh, they want to get better, and that's what he's he's shown. So. Looking forward to uh, hopefully uh, locking horns with him again. So. And, la yeah. and lastly, do you think MLW is going to keep getting bigger? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. Um, we've actually, uh, I'm sorry, not bigger, but um, they extend a TV deal with uh, UK and Ireland over there. And that's huge for me because of um, you know, my heritage and, and my father's name and everything. So I think that the um, uh, you know, sky's the limit for MLW, and I'm looking forward to uh, the future with them. So. All right, thanks.